Hello everyone, welcome back to The Witcher 3. So today I'm gonna be taking care of a last, last, uh, couple of last uh, side quests and then we will be heading to Novigrad to find Triss. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. So we're gonna find this guy's father, then we're gonna well, um, Hey, die. John does just exist for the purpose of being really fucking annoying. That's what I've concluded from the scientific investigation. <laughs> what is my purpose in life? To be really fucking annoying. shape. Hmm. Even where the pillar smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the spectre to leave. Okay. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. Okay, I'll probably to, uh... I don't know how this is going to end. I probably won't like it. That's just how things are with this game. <laughs> I feel like my frames would generally be a lot better if there weren't so many fucking plants. Oh shit, what? A wagon? Wagon? This used to be ten different ways to pronounce what wagon, so... And now it's in the floor. Yay! I adore this game's lighting. Just look at this, it's so gorgeous. Well, with these fucking plants, maybe I'd be able to appreciate it even more. Well, if my computer wasn't crap, maybe I'd appreciate it a lot more. Oh shit. What's happening to you? A beauty? What the devil do you mean? A great mare. A horse fiend. Well, Folk shit. Folk went mad, lunged at each other, murdering all neighbors or young'uns. It's the spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canty. Should give them a taste of the whip uh, to fuck bring no. them in line, cuz... my lord, tis what they... they said, too. About the mare, meaning... That is the... Forest's dark ghost. Who claims so? The the w w w witch hunters passed through just now, heading for the village in the swamp. S -s Some lass was leading them, asking after her mother. Lass, we must go there at once, Geralt. Okay. 
Agreed. I'll gather my men. All in. We have the swamp to cross and our cursed crowns to hunt down. If you say so. Plowing swamp. Pox ridden air from out Well, if we get to kill these fuckers, then crowns fine with me. Fuck me. What will these high seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. <laughs> right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Oh, you have no Rightly idea. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Tell yourself that all you like. I don't think... I don't think you will like the reality. Let's use guys again. Operation. Yes, it does. I'll hurry the fuck up. Scared of getting your feet wet. So slow. Come on. He's that guy, I guess. Water hanks. Where's a horror like that come from? A wench that's had too much hooch turns into that. So next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better Fuck off you. Down yourself. Witcher, why are you here? I'll tell you later. Oh, witch hunters? Witcher, change your mind. Oh, you. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. Hm. Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband. You, the not the best? Father. You were fucking terrible. No. You're a but fucking terrible person. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. I'm not going to tell her to go back with you. Sorry. 
Stop arguing. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village! Okay, this gym just turned into a horror movie. Stay away from her. Over here! What the fuck? <laughs> Mother kid. Is is that her? No. No. Impossible. We, we must do something. Witcher! Something's coming. Get ready. Wolves? Perhaps. Didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. I turned her into that. Oh my god. <laughs> You're spoiling <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Uh, burn, burn, burn. Hell no, you won't. So you like that silver? <laughs> when the ragdoll doesn't know what to do. So. What was that? Looked a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? They'll Just look at her. 
Richard, you know of these things. You must. What? What's wrong with her? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crones must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? Uh, a boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Let's find the boy. The B.O.I. Oh boy, Johnny. Oh, fuck you. For him. Oh, tracks. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here, fleeing something. Oh. Fleeing that. Loud noise. That's for sure. Tracks in there. There he is. Johnny, wake up. What? Who? Oh, Witcher! You frightened me. I thought it were those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told him off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without him? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran. But they were angry she'd let the children escape. So you saw what happened to Gran? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones totted in. The weaver snipped a lock of Gran's hair, called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor, went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Why'd the weaver need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. Take a look under the door. Oh, I look like a fool to you. No, you do look like the inquisitive type though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. <laughs> I love Johnny. <laughs> Stay in the chest until the crone's left. Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. 
didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her, the ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Bruess piped up first. Naughty boy! Oh, naughty! Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes! Then the Wispeth says, Run, boy! Run! Before your legs rot off! They all laughed, and I legged it! You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do, but I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide, and I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Damn I what damn right I will. Fuck you. <laughs> Cursed your mother, took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. The eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the Hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. <laughs> this risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Oh god. Should find it easier to choose. Alright. Let's take a look at these dolls. Mm. 
Red bead, bird feathers, violet hollyhock bloom. I like the hollyhock. I remember the Baron said that she liked the hollyhocks. It's gotta be that, right? Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. You believe this to be the doll? Yeah. I'm sure it is. Taking it. So the other game rewards you for remembering things? Quick, outside! Mum, you're back. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy. I'm dying. She's not well. Raven doesn't rightly know what's happening. You You're see? weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell, but now I must go. What's she talking about, Witcher? Nothing we can do to help her. But we... No! That's impossible! Dear daughter, Philip, it's good to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother! Tammy. Do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please, remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Well... Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. Well, glad we can finally leave all this behind us. I hope. None of this was I know. Which makes it more easier to bear. Hey. I wouldn't. I have a moment. Okay? Hey! Oh, I'm not. Do this and then we will head to Novigrad. Folk don't object to your white move. Oops. Oh god. Good catch.
What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Oh my god. Fuck. Himself? Where did you boys help him? What the fuck do you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay find a rope and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. Shit. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. Well, that fucking sucks. Oh, God. This game is not messing around. Jesus Christ. Well, on that fucking delightful note, we should we should head off. I don't want to be here anymore. Second game was a sort of fun romp type thing. Mum coming home. This God, this spares no expense with the fucking moral, the morally dubious everything. Come closer, don't go Whip like you know, be oh, Honor in the fatherland. Trade keeps the hunger at bay. Wait. Why does it. Why the fuck does it have me going this way? Ugh. This game's map trafficker is dodgy. There's an elven burial ground in the caverns near about to mid-cops. We go gather in a heap of monsters running around with a minister with a sword and a pox. And hold on. A soul left alive in a hammer. Stay out of my way. Fuck. 
heißt der? Oh, here it is. So. Crawl back under your rock. You crawl back under your rock, bitch. Alright, Roach. That's right. Frames would behave, that would be nice. That's it, Roach. I may have to give my uh, computer a break. <laughs> I'm sorry, you being in my way is not racism, dude. Shady individual. I'll pass, thanks. Suspicious to me, tramp. Fuck off. Alright. I mean, these frames are serviceable, but it's annoying, so. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Place is cool. From now on, assume your every move's observed. What's going on? No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire in lions burns and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you by the others of your speech. No, 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 no. I want to not to live like you. Help me, kind folk, please! Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. 
Oh, is that the one that, um... Is that the one you mentioned that tried to impersonate him? Jesus Christ. No love for witches there, then. Here. That happens to be my ex's house. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Damn. Me! Leave it to me! Come then. We'll, we'll split it. Plenty here for everyone. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Why is she in hiding? I think we can. I think we can uh, get, uh, deduce why she's in hiding, just from you know everything. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery, if there ever was one. No decent folks show their hides scum there. and villainy. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offence. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumour has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thanks a lot. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief, follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king, crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. This Menger. Temple God! Hi. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, oh, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitty shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, mages of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. What's your point? I ask the questions, Witcher. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. 
I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Fuck you, man. One asshole. Okay. Guess we got another fine Triss quest. Oh, <laughs> deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! out. The thinking customer will see right away I've got the best deals this side of the pond. Things are generally tied here. Back in the You're here with the service, yes? Fuck you. Help a poor fellow out. Be merciful. Give us a crown, eh? Me mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well, she's like to die of hunger. All right, I'll give you some coin, but you gotta tell me where the putrid grove is. I don't know that. Keep your coin, I don't know a thing. Move on. Be gone! Someone else to follow. The jitters in the downfall of civilization. Moral decay. Oh. <clears throat> Beg your pardon.
I'm very intent on this, if you can't tell. I'm leaning forward in my chair. Stop. Ain't nothing pretty in this life save daffodils. This is the cities apparently that can make your FPS tank if your computer's not good enough. And hey, guess what? Ah! Well, I find it odd since this computer runs Inquisition perfectly with no issues. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill at me, things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Grove's upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. It's fine, I can I use Axie? Let's see. I won't pay. Let me in. Yes, sir. Success. Here we are. Now. What ails you? Where is my ex? It him as rain. We can go at it here. Not my place. That's it. How are things? Good. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes. High time. Me and my men Tris? will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. Mm, know each other's See a bit of a... See you two know each other well. <sighs> I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have, but I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher, I've got plans, big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution, mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. 
I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another Your time. friends? For now, I'll leave yeah. you two alone. Because like I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, Act. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very... Madam oh, Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? And we're back following Triss again. Woohoo! Except uh, this time I don't think they'll be hunky punky at the end of it. Something unusual. She actually keeps pace. Like stealing our work, those Tamarians. Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but... Uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went bad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Okay. Food you got. Mind if I do? And let's go. Yeah. 
There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Clint wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a leap. Oh, damn. 79, 79. That's slightly better. That kind of looks bad, but whatever. Repair seventy five. Um, how my weapons lucky? Seventy four, fifty two. That repairing. Crap, can I get rid of? All the low from the secret passage. city of Novograd. Name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Nguyen. Thought they'd be safe from rat of its reapers. Instead they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain. Judging by what Luke them. said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. I'm coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. The flirting, I love it. That's got to be a reference to the uh, bathtub, right? <laughs> I don't know. I I love him and Triss. I also love him and Yen. But like. I want to see more of him and Yen, like, because we've barely seen them together, but we spent two whole games with Triss, so... the parcel or did you get wet for no reason nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal found a few fish a rusty anchor the carcass of a boat oh and this oh my package hope the contents aren't soaked through oh you're a doll seem to be in your element still remember my elements how I use them come on Six months isn't that long, but it's not like I'm senile. <laughs> but you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Bit rich coming Someone's from you. been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. <laughs> Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Hi, I'm Triss's ex. Is that a problem? 
By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Okay. All right then. Let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices, and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. <laughs> Back and forth. I love it. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. She's, uh, changed a little. The master monster slayer in the world's largest city. Looking for rat shit. Jeez. <laughs> the sauce. I think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> So, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Uh, she's fine, I think. She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. That was definitely a what about us. I'm not that dumb. Well, having a heart well. to heart. <laughs> Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. 
Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up My incompetence would beg to here. differ. Well, there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Oh, fuck you. For a bruising. <laughs> Get away from her. That bastard hired me on the assumption he wouldn't have to pay me. Duped and trapped me, child. If not for you, we need to find Brandon. Okay. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Get. Thanks, Geralt. Your hand's still on fire. Is that a bug? No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking he might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareem's been very effective. We should at least try. Chris, your hand is on fire. She's taking a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. Nice to see you again. You too, Gareth. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. Alright. See you later. See, there's definitely still feelings there. This is a dilemma. We either have shared trauma. Or we have art. And... Mm. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> That's not a choice I want to make right now. <laughs> I don't know, I want to I wanna see more of Yennefer. I want to get to know her properly. Because... She is art, but, like, I need to be able to appreciate not just the art. <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm such a gay disaster. Okay, um, well, with that, I'm going to end this part here. Uh, and, yeah, I'll be back next time with more gay crises and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye guys, see you next time.